Hey, what's going on everybody? So today we got a little bit of a surprise update here for iOS 16. So this is version 16.0.2. Now you might be wondering, why is it .2? Well, for iPhone 14 users only, they've already gotten the .1 update. So there was that day one uh, iPhone 14 launch problem. I believe it was during the setup. It might have been like the eSIM or something like that, but there was something in the setup that was going wrong and they had to push out that, I guess you'd call it emergency update so people could actually set up their phones uh, when they got it. So that was iPhone 14 only. This dot two is available for all devices running iOS 16. So this fixes some uh, bug fixes and problems that people have been having and also some security things, but we'll talk about those here in a second. So let's go ahead and talk about the fixes that they have addressed here in version.2. So the first thing is there was a problem where the camera may vibrate and cause a blurry picture when using a third party application. So if you were using something like Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat and you would uh, take a picture, it would be blurry. The camera would be moving and your picture would not look good. So. Not sure what was causing that, but they have addressed that here in this update. The next problem people were having is that your device may completely go blank or go to a black screen during the setup process. So when you were setting up something like, I believe it was your eSIM or something else in the setup process, your phone would just go black and it would basically kind of lock up and you would not be able to uh, do anything. So they have fixed that problem as well. The other thing here had to do with copy and pasting. So you now know that when you copy and paste between applications, you will get an initial prompt whether or not you want to allow uh, that copy and paste to take place. So if I were to go to Safari, for example, copy some words on a website and then want to paste them into uh, mail or notes or something like that, it would prompt me and it would be like, do you want to allow this? You would say yes. Well, once you do it once, that should be it. But what was happening is every single time you copied something from a third or another application, then you would get that prompt every single time before you were allowed to paste something. So that problem should be fixed now as well. The other problem is with voiceover. So if you're somebody that uses the voiceover feature in the accessibility uh, settings, you know, that's a pretty important feature uh, for a lot of people. Well, there was a problem where voiceover might not be available after a reboot. So you would reboot your device, like after a software update or just randomly restarting it for some reason, and voiceover would not be available. So that should not happen anymore. And then the last thing here had to do with a touch input. So this was only on older devices, so they actually listed the iPhone 10, the 10R, and the 11. So if you had any of those devices and you had your display uh, service, so if you ever had it worked on or replaced, and then you had iOS 16, it would not be responsive. So it would not uh, respond to touch input sometimes. So that should be fixed now as well. And then the final thing here, Apple did say that there was security updates uh, for this update. However, when you scroll down on Apple's security page, you see iOS 16.0.2, it says this update has no published CVE entries. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't fix any security items, they just didn't publish what they addressed. So um, that is everything here. Again, just a minor update in order to address some of those bug fixes that have been popping up. Uh, that people have been noticing. But yeah, guys, uh, that's basically all I got for you today. I would go ahead and upgrade to this latest version here, especially if you've been having any of those uh, problems that we just talked about. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.